Hey guys, welcome back. I was doing my usual browsing around Reddit and other gaming areas looking for some interesting gaming news to share with you guys and it came across a pretty interesting Reddit thread about a medieval combat MMO that I had never even heard of. Let's check it out. As we can see, the game is called Gloria Victus. Again, I had never heard about this game at all. They talk about the combat being very similar to one of my favorite games we just talked about recently, Chivalry 2, with the directional blocking and everything. It's a very realistic combat system game. There are ranged weapons like your bows and arrows, all that kind of stuff in here. There's a PvP system. It's three faction. Each faction has safe zones, and there's PvP areas, and then there's even full loot PvP areas as well. Well, for those of you that love that kind of stuff, it's in here. This Reddit thread that I'll make sure to link in the comments for you guys or in the uh, description. And it's full of people saying really positive stuff about it. And there's been a few people that came in and said like, oh, I tried the game, couldn't really get into it. They had tried it in like 2018 or 2020 or whatever. Uh, the game's had a very big update recently, according to the guys on this thread. The developer seems really active. He's in this thread here. I found a review video from a channel about the same size as mine. And there's comments from the developers thanking him for the video and like for enjoying the game and that they're working on improving it and all those things, you know, because he had some critiques on such like the, the sound not being you know quite as good as it could be and uh he wanted the blocking feature for the direction changing directions to be fluid so you didn't have to like re-block on the other side you could just drag across some little stuff like that they're working on all of it the according to the people that play this game in here the uh cash shop is no sub the cash shop is just cosmetics and miscellaneous things that no one really cares about i got my second character to in-game pvp content in about one to two game days so the xp boosters are pointless in my opinion uh, the catch is just the learning curve at the beginning. That makes sense with combat systems like this, with directional blocking and all that kind of stuff, right? It's a, it's a bit complex to get into uh, compared to your typical, just like say a tab target MMO or something, right? You just you tab target onto it, you press the button, it lands, uh, and you, know, you can't really do much about avoiding the damage, right? You just have to do your damage roll numbers play the classes, use the skills, but the targeting and everything, it's pretty basic and simple. Uh, they talk about the community being really, really nice. All that kind of stuff. Like, uh, there, there doesn't seem to really be a catch to the game, right? That was like the person here was asking, like, what's the catch? And they can't really, like, give it. And again, right, we've got the developer right here. We do have a supporter shop with skins and some other things you can get in-game relatively easily. And then, right, that's backed up by the OP here. There's some other commenters on here as well backing this up. The game sounds really promising and great for those of you that like this kind of thing. For me personally, the only thing that I'm not sure if I'm going to hop right into it and try it out or not is uh, I just started New World again, and I'm honestly really sucked into it. I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, if you know what it's like to have ADHD and get a, like be getting into it, getting back into an MMO that you're like, it's it's bad, right? It's bad. I don't really want to actually play any other games. I'm very like, I got to get my gear score. I've got to get my gear score up so I can start killing more people in Outpost Rush. Someone on the thread here asked the OP if you basically have to do the PvP 
since it right seems like a PvP focused game. And he's on here saying you do not have to PvP if you don't want to. I plant crops a lot and craft a ton, only PvP about 20% of the time. There are event quests and dungeons and such that you can do. One of my guildmates only craft and others only PvP. You can do whatever you prefer. Sounds pretty good. One concern comment I see from someone is, has it really been an early access since 2016? And again, the developer active here on this Reddit thread saying, yes, but we are almost ready to go. Also the OP who started a thread, they are planning full release in a few months, which reminds me the OP, the reason he started this thread was because the game is currently only $8 on Steam. Let's pop over to the Steam page, take a quick little look here. And the game has mostly positive reviews in the recent and all time. And then if we come down here, the early access is currently 60% off. It is only $8. I'm very tempted. I'm probably just going to grab it. And then like, you know, when I, when I finally get my gear score up in new world and I'm ready to kind of, you know, try some other stuff. Cause I'm not just like laser focused on got to get my gear score up for this game that I'm really hooked on right now. You know, I'll jump in and play it. It, it sounds good. Like with the play player positive reviews the fact i'm finding out about the game just from a player who liked the game so much and then he saw it was on sale and wanted to let people know so we can hopefully get more people in playing the game he likes that's a good sign doesn't sound like there's really pay to win other than like the xp booster N not the end of the world if the the grind really isn't bad he said he got to the you know pvp ready in like a day or two you know, we'll see. It sounds like it's mostly just a cosmetic cash shop, though. I know some people don't like that. I personally don't have a problem with it, right? Games got to monetize in some way if there's going to be a sub or whatever. And as long as they don't jump into a lot of pay to win, then having no sub and optional cosmetics is really great. Honestly, like that's how New World is monetized. And I really, really like that about the game. I only had to buy the game one time. It's one of the only reasons I can play that game right now, right? I, I kind of wanted to play Wrath of the Lich King Classic since everyone was on that hype train and i just don't really like right i live very cheap so that i can try to make this happen right i mostly work side gigs and such while i do this as well and uh i just live cheap so that i don't need a lot and whatnot but i don't have a ton to be wasting on stuff so like subs that are guaranteed like rolling money all the time um unless the game is like amazing i'm not gonna do it right in new world the way they do it and there's no pay to win, it's just cosmetics. I think it's a fantastic monetization model. Drop me a like and a comment on the video. Maybe let me know in the comments, what are some other games you think deserve to be spotlighted, right? Like this game's clearly been flying under the radar. I had never even heard of it. It's definitely a game that if I had heard of it, I would have taken note of it because it does appeal to me. Also, thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you very much to the YouTube members and the patrons. If you'd like to support $5 a month on Patreon or on the YouTube members, it it really goes a long way for me. I do live super cheap, like I said, and I appreciate y'all. I'll catch you in the next one.